Welcome back guys. Today we'll look at an old 2.2 Mazda diesel engine. We'll inspect all critical parts related to oil pressure, excluding the head engine and find out why the chain has snapped. I started with removing the big end bearings and here is how it looks. So it has some signs of wear and tear. Another side of the big end bearings looks the same. Here we have a severely worn out tensioner guide for the oil pump chain, which is the first significant sign of insufficient lubrication. Here is a balancer unit with an oil pump and broken chain. We'll inspect those parts later as well. As you can see, the shaft of the balancer unit spins freely, meaning there weren't any seizures causing the chain to snap. So let's start with separating the engine block. The lower block is fastened with these bolts, all together 20 pieces. And here is their location. To split the engine, you need uh, flathead screwdrivers. Place them as I do between the lower and upper engine block. Make sure not to damage the surface, otherwise it may link. Now look at the main bearings of the crankshafts. There are also some signs of wear and tear, but not much. Here is one bearing stuck to the crankshaft. This bearing is severely damaged, including the crankshaft pin. It looks like there could get some contamination or it's caused by oil pressure loss. The other half of the bearing looks even worse. All other crankshaft pins look good, of course it's not perfect. In this case it must be machined because of this deep crankshaft scoring. Otherwise you could replace ore bearings and the engine would be good to go. Some of you may question it because visual inspection is not good enough. And I agree, always perform measurements. We replaced bearings at the customer's request with a similar looking crankshaft without that deep scoring and that engine has gone under 80,000 kilometers without any issues. Now let's dismantle the oil pump and the balancer unit. First remove the driven sprocket, then those three bolts to remove the oil pump from the balancer, then the remaining bolts and separate the hosing with flathead screwdrivers. According to the workshop manual, the oil pump is not a dismantable or serviceable part, so we do it only for inspection. This side of the oil pump housing is scored. The other side looks good. That is not the biggest problem. Look at the oil pump rotors, which are the real issue here. The inner rotor and outer are worn out. And you can easily notice this coloration on each tooth. Also, its shape is deformed. There are many other ways to check them. For instance, you could place a light under the rotors and check how they match. Or even measure it. Based only on visual inspection, the oil pump is not good. In this case, measuring would be a waste of time. Now let's move to the balancer unit inspection. Remove just a few bolts and split it without any pry tool. To remove those shafts of the balancer unit you should use a marker because there are no alignment marks. They are divided into three pieces. Mark them precisely as I did here. So those shafts are slightly discolored in the bearing places, with no severe damage.
bearing slight wear and tear marks. If you want to reuse the balancer unit, you should replace at least the bearings. And finally, let's look at the oil pump chain. And here we can see that the rollers are scored. Clearly, the chain was jumping heavily on sprockets before it snapped. And those marks can be seen all over the chain. Further, you will see a big play between the rollers and the pins of the oil pump chain. Those parts were severely worn out. You may ask, what was the problem? It was a lubrication issue over an extended period, meaning oil was not replaced according to the intervals. In addition, we have found injector gas leak creating carbon and hence partly clogged strainer. The engine I'm working on was introduced in 2012 and modif manufactured without any modifications until 2013. This vehicle came to the workshop with an oil pressure warning and an error code P0524, meaning low oil pressure. The customer was repeatedly warned by message on display. Unfortunately, all of that has been ignored, leading to engine failure. I will overhaul one of those engines in future videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.